Atlanta at New Orleans. The Falcons are four-point road underdogs. They are 7-1 against the spread as a road dog. 1-4 against the spread versus New Orleans. Started 0-5 in their 3-1 since Dan Quinn was fired as their head coach. The under is 5-1 in the last six games in this head-to-head -head matchup. In the last 16 games versus each other in New Orleans, the under is hit as well. The underdog is 9-4 against spread in the series. New Orleans, they're 17-9 straight up versus Atlanta, 6-1 against the spread versus teams with losing records. Seven of the last eight Saints games have gone over the number when New Orleans has been the favorite. Falcons allow the second fewest yards to running backs Kamara. He has zero touchdowns in his last six games against the Falcons. Something's got to give there for Kamara. He's too good not to. I am, man, the, the kid's just amazing. I can't believe no touchdowns in six games versus the Falcons. Breeze out, that means it's going to come down to, you're probably going to see a mixture of Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill, oh, Taysom Hill because, you know, the Saints like to mix in Hill anyways. He's their gadget player, and a lot of things might run through him, maybe a few more than would be with Breeze in the lineup. The Falcons, they are getting healthy, though. Now, too, remember Julio Jones missed a couple games this year already. Their wide receivers are getting healthy now and are the same with their defensive backs. Their secondary was really beat up at the start of the season. They're starting to get healthier as well. That's going to be good for the Falcons. I don't think they're good enough to get the win over the Saints. I do like them to cover the four points, though. I like New Orleans to win the game and Atlanta to cover the spread.